It's time to head back into the skies. Welcome everybody, this is the Drone Champions League, the World Championship for professional drone racing teams, and I'm Matt Andrews. We're here in race day 14 of our first split for 2023. We have 10 teams, they all race each other twice, and when those 18 race days are concluded, the top six will go to our live finals. Those six teams will then battle each other with the fifth and sixth place teams starting in the dangerous elimination zone. As we knock teams out, we'll find our split champion. Then we'll do it all again with 18 more race days, some new tracks, another split champion, and a world champion at the end of the year. All of our matches are a head-to-head -head between two of our world championship contenders in a best of seven. So we'll start off with a 1v1, then some 2v2s, and an all-in big heat where everyone races. And then if we need to, we'll continue through more 2v2s and end perhaps on a 1v1 to settle it. And those teams represent the very best of the world of drone racing. The two-time world champions are Raiden. Everybody looking to get that title from them this year. And that team a third at the moment. Ahead of them are Quad Force One, a few places behind China Dragons. Those two teams are going to be trying to get more points today. Let's first meet the China Dragons, who are here with Chrysan, clone number one, creator gamer, and Ion FPV. Four pilots who've really upped their game this season. And against them, the Americans of Quad Force One, who've also found some brilliant new talent. AK Drones is here, the captain, Propsical. Leviathan was last year's Rookie of the Year, and Proximo's having a good season too. The track we're going to be racing today is around the capital of the sixth smallest country in the world. It's Vaduz in Liechtenstein, the home of the DCL where it all began back in 2016. We've raced here in real life many times, although we've never got that close to their cathedral before. But that in front of you is the government and parliament buildings, which we've raced around many times. We're doing all of this in the shadow of the castle of Liechtenstein as well. Up ahead of you, that's a landing ramp, which catches a lot of pilots out. You'll see it soon as we're going racing. China Dragons against Quad Force One and the brave pilots to start it off. Clone number one against Propsicle. Now, clone number one, I've praised him so many times this season for being such a strong competitor this year. Propsicle has been leading the team of Quad Force One as their captain for a few seasons now. Early on lap number one, dive down around the roundabout here where we were in real life a few years ago. Through that Foxy gate, then a 180 to come back through this one. Then we'll head up and around the square before going up towards the Liechtenstein Castle here. Dropping down through this bit is very difficult. Clone number one staying in the lead over Propsicle at the moment. Through four Torval gates in a line here, and then back and through some DCL arches the other way. Then another 180. And now this very difficult obstacle left and then right through this ladder descending down before you head to the landing ramp. I'm sure that's going to catch a few pilots today. Clone number one is out of that. Okay, but not the corkscrew afterwards. Somehow he's managed to complete it. You have to corkscrew your way through those two gates. He's lucky that he made it, but he has. And he's away on lap number two. Now trying to catch Propsicle, who's seven tenths of a second in front of him. So we'll go on board with clone number one, who's a bit twitchier now over the government building than he was earlier. Maybe that little bump just just shook him a little bit. He's trying to close that gap, and he's moved a little bit closer. Now through the square a little bit more hesitantly. Up here into the slalom, dive down, drop through those two bars, and tenths of a second have gone. He's a little bit closer. This is Propsicle, who's currently out in the lead. His team, Quad Force One, are in such a good position at the moment. One tiny heat point behind x -Blades Racing at the top of the leaderboard, so they won't want to give anything away. Oh, but he's hit the hedge at the bottom of the landing ramp. Now, I said the landing ramp would probably claim a few pilots. I wasn't expecting the hedge afterwards to do it for them. Propsicle is four seconds behind. His recovery out of that has absolutely left him. 
totally left him for dead on lap number three. Clone number one is away. He might even see how far ahead he is now. He might have just had a look at him as he went round the roundabout. But truth is, Propskill is so far behind, clone number one couldn't even see him there. Now through the square and up towards the slalom. Drop down here. That is surprisingly difficult. And then over the rooftops with still a four-second lead. This is exactly what China Dragons would love to get over Quad Force 1 and exactly what Propsicle doesn't want to show his teammates as he tries to lead them off into this best of seven. Will the fearsome landing ramp catch him? No, neither does the tree at the bottom. Here's the corkscrew that he bumped into earlier. He's made it all clean. There's the finish gate. Yeah, yeah. GG, man. Good job. Nice. What about Quad Force 1? <sighs> Oh. I haven't seen Propsicles suffer quite as much as I have done a few times this season. Clone number one is stacking up another point for himself and the China Dragons. Here's his first bump at the court screw. Still managed to make it through the first part, so that's why he could complete it by flying through the second. Now let's take a look at the proud American drone of Propsicle when he lost the lead on lap number two. Just bumped into that little bit of a hedge there. For the first of the 2v2s, it's Iron and Chrysan against Leviathan and Proximo. Chrysan and Leviathan we've seen in many previous seasons. Ion FPV joined China Dragons in the DCL last season, racing out of India. He's in Bangalore. Proximo, Ion new crash. to the starting roster for Quad Force 1 this year. Levi currently the one in the lead. Then Chrysan and Proximo swapping places in second and third. Ion, a little bit of a bumpy start. He's two and a bit seconds behind at the moment. This is Proximo's chase for Chrysan, who's in second. Levi, his teammate, just ahead of him there, although Chrysan extremely close to him. Three drones in the Torval Tunnel, all at the same time, and in the DCL Tunnel, going back the other way. Let's see how they cope with the ladder. Right hand into it, and then through and down the ladder there. It's Leviathan and Chrysan swapping places in front of Proximo at the moment. And Proximo down into the ground after the landing ramp. That's cost him a second. Chrysan, 10th ahead of him. Leviathan. So the Blue Drone giving the chase to China Dragons here. Weaving their way around the square. Coming uh, back down now towards the roundabout after those two Liechtenstein gates. Chrysan just getting passed on the inside by Leviathan. But after the turn is over, he's still just fractionally in the lead. Two tenths of a second, three tenths of a second. Chrysan over Leviathan tries to pull away. Let's see how they do in the drop. It's good for both of them, but Levi hasn't managed to close that gap. If anything, he's lost a tiny bit more time. So has Proximo in third and Ion even further behind at the back of things at the moment. Chrysan into this hanging ladder here. Almost too low for it. Almost bumped his way around it. Now let's head to the landing ramp. I think his rhythm's gone. Sure, yes, crash. he's at the top of it. He's outside of it. He's caught the hedge as well. That poor hedge claims another one. Currently one and two. Leviathan and Proximo, one, one and two, as their teammates are telling Levi, them. Overall, you've got two and a half to three seconds total. Propsicle, his captain, letting Leviathan know. Two and a half seconds. And they're on lap number three. Proximo 1.3 seconds behind Levi, as he has been for most of this race. Levi well, now space, with guys. clear air invaders to try and wrap this one up and tie the series one all. His attack drop there is good. The climb up over the roof is safe as well. Now he's into the Torval Tunnel all by himself this time. Back through the DCR ones. What's his route to the ladder like? It's a little That's high. He's hit so the pylon at the top long. of it. Thankfully, it's his teammate who's caught him up now, as both the China That's Dragons are too far behind to capitalize on that. Now let's see what their team captain Propsicle has to say as they end the race. Holy crap, I freaking love you guys. You guys are so freaking good at this video let's game. Let's go. Holy, thank you. Good job, Levi. Nice. That was like the slowest I've gone in years. That's all we freaking needed, brother. Good of Adam. Good race. It's a lot calmer on the China Dragon side of things. Leviathan, he gets the point for his American team. Now, we've seen this a few times in real life races. A drone just doesn't want to take part in the race and hit something very early. Proximo getting caught out by the tree. Chrysan getting caught in the landing ramp a few times and the tree as well. And Proximo hitting the court screw, but Leviathan was ahead for the point. Now their teammates come. It's Creator Gamer and clone number one, AK Drones and Propsicle. Unusual to see both of the pilots from the opening 1v1 then sit out of the following 2v2. Sometimes they stay on and take the charge into that following race, but they have to decide who races in which heat before any of the racing begins. So they couldn't judge it on their first race's performance. Propsicle currently alongside clone number one. Create a gamer with them too. AK Drones 
just a tenth or two behind that, but everybody very close. AK Drones, a bit wilder there into the drop. That's cost him a little bit more time. The chase down into the tunnel. We're on board with Creator Gamer, who's got his teammate and Propsicle just in front of him for now. Oh, and into the top of the ladder. The same pile on that claim Leviathan earlier. Only Levi got out of that a little bit more quickly than Creator has done. Clone number one into that corkscrew. No problems here. Very fast attack on that. Around the pile on the start. Lap number two. Propsicle still just a tenth of a second in front of him. These two pilots giving as good as each other. Absolutely love to see it. We'll go high up here. Drop down through the first of the Liechtenstein gates. There's the second and round the roundabout. Propsicle still a tenth of a second in head of clone number one. Around the government building. Heading to the parliament building via the square. Into the slalom. Here comes the drop. Good for both pilots. It's just a tenth of a second. You can barely split them. Clone number one still chasing Propsicle. Creator Gamer has lost a lot of time behind him, though, as has AK Drone. So we're in this position again. Doesn't look like their teammates are going to help them out. It's going to be between Propsicle and clone number one. Into the landing ramp. Both of them cleanly out of the bottom of it. And none of the foliage getting in the way this time. The court screw. Good for both of them. Clone number one perhaps a little bit wilder, which is why he's half a second behind Propsicle now. Not quite as smooth. Propsicle trying to get away, flying as cleanly as he can. Clone number one still chasing him, still about half a second behind. Round the roundabout will go. Heading now through the Fox Ear Gate, doubling back in front of the government, and then half a second now becomes six tenths of a second. Propsicle still ahead of clone number one, under a lot of pressure from him. And if it's like we've seen behind the teams already, perhaps it's a little bit more relaxed on the orange side of things, and Propsicle might be feeling a lot of pressure from clone number one. He's got to make the ladder work now. Looking good for both of them. It's wider for clone number one. Maybe he's given a little bit more time away. He's heading wide here as well. He's into the side. Okay, it's okay. I crashed as well. Oh, he's down. Oh, he's down, he says. Calmly as anything. Passes him, wins it. Dude, nice. Yes. nice. As calm as you like, clone number one goes. Oh, he's down and passes and scores. What happened to Propsicle? You'll see in a moment. First creator gamer ends up on the roof at the ladder. AK Drones is claimed by the deadly ramp. Clone number one hit it in pretty much the same place. And Propsicle came out of it cleanly, but then it's the hedge. So everybody comes back for another run at this now in the legendary DCL Big Heat. All eight drones flying China Dragons in orange with a 2-1 lead. That's a slow start for Leviathan. He's a second behind before we even made the first turn. That's unlike him. Ion getting caught out early as well. At the front, we've got Chrysan and clone number one swapping places. Propsicle, Proximo and AK drones would love to swap places with both of them. Creator Gamer. Oh, there's a lot of bumps in this track early in lap number one. He's down in seventh now. The lead still between Chrysan and clone number one. And then Propsicle, Proximo, AK Drones all still in their chasing positions. Let's try and straighten this track out and try and get some smooth flying. AK Drones in fifth place. Not too bad around the ladder. Oh, getting caught at the bottom. All those drones in and out of his vision. It can be a bit off-putting. He goes to the back now. Chrysan, then it's Propsicle. Then clone number one finds himself in third here. Propsicle's just snuck past him. And look how quickly he's flying. He must be so encouraged by that race just now. Propsicle needs to keep his emotions in check and get some points for his team as he's been doing so well all season. He is the highest scoring pilot in the DCL at this point with 36 points, 36 race wins. And he might make a 37th here as he's managed to catch Chrysan. There's one hundredth of a second between them as he's taken the lead. Clone number one in the chasing position now. We'll be happy if Chrysan gets the win ahead of him, but he's right here for support if he needs to. That is so tight flying on the ladder. They've really got that tuned in now. What about this ramp? Inside is good. Outside clone, just a little bit hesitant, like he was slightly nervous of what happened before. And the hedge claims another one. Chrysan now. The hope for China Dragons, ever so low and tight. That is really confident flying as he tries to sneak inside Propsicle at every opportunity. Diving down to the roundabout. Prop school still managing to stay ahead of him. Chrysan swings around. Oh, just a little bit outside. Too wide. Catches the gate there. But Propsicle's too tightly inside and has hit the tree in the middle of the square. That's where we normally have a giant screen for our real-life races. 
Thankfully, Propskull hasn't smashed that, but he's also managing with eight thousandths of a second, four thousandths of a second to try and stay in the lead. Crichton's moving past him though, he's just nudged in front of him. The landing ramp and the court screw to go, and then that'll be the end. Propsicle now trying to reclaim the lead. He looks furious with himself. He hasn't yes. got it. Yes. Nice one, Chrysan. You absolute beast. Good job, Did man. You? Did you? Oh, 20. Damn. Nice time, bro. Nice time. And on the other side. They're still in it, guys. Well, they are still in it, but it's got a lot harder for them. Chrysan gets another one for China Dragons. A 3 1 lead. Quad Force 1 with Phil. They let that one slip. Levi didn't go anywhere at the start of the race. He had a one second penalty due to a false start. He basically jumped to the start. Ion caught out on that turn here. He Creator Gamer a few turns ahead of him going onto the pavement. Quite a lot of bumps in this race. Clone number one was okay and the ramp got caught by the hedge. AK Drones is laddering beautifully, but almost turned too many times. Needed to go straight on out of the exit. Propsicle into the tree. Let's put that race behind us. It's another 2v2. Creator Gamer and Chrysan against AK Drones and Leviathan. And China Dragons go into this with a 3-1 lead. Chrysan, AK, Leviathan, all very close to each other. Chrysan too near to a wall and a pylon afterwards. He's at the back by two seconds now. Creator Gamer finds himself at the front where he hasn't been for a little while. Leviathan and AK Drones trying to get him. Remember, it's a best of seven. China Dragons with a 3-1 lead. That means Quad Force 1 has to win every one of the remaining races to take it to race 7 and try and beat them. Creator Gamer leading both of the Quad Force 1 pilots through the slaloms there to this difficult hanging ladder. All the way around. Leviathan okay there. AK Drone still just behind them by 8 tenths. Leviathan's cut inside Creator Gamer and almost overshot the court screw but has made it work and has taken the lead at the start of lap number 2. Creator Gamer chases slightly wider. Then on the inside, it's nine thousandths of a second between them. Oh, I love this close racing. Now Levi over the rooftop, hit the pylon, gone through the Lichtenstein gates, one and two, and he's going round the roundabout twice. No, Levi. You only need to do it once. He's lost loads of time. Oh, what happened there? Breaking concentration. That's messed him up. Perhaps he went back to try and make a turn that he thought he'd missed. He'd made it the first time. He's lost two more seconds. Creator Gamer now out in front, middle of lap number two. Not under any immediate pressure. Nobody very close to him just now. That's all good laddering. Let's see how he does in the ramp and the hedge afterwards. That's all good. The court screw now at the end of lap number two. Oh, he's hit the bottom of it. Oh, he's very slow getting out of there. He's all tangled up in it, but yet he's still in the lead. That's how big a gap he had over AK Drones and Levi. We're on to the third and final lap here. Leviathan or his teammate, the blue drone in front of him, have to get in front of that orange drone in front of them, or this matchup is over. China Dragons pushing Quad Force 1 aside, 4 1. That'll do wonders for their position in the leaderboard, and Quad Force 1 won't be hanging around at the top as they wish to be. So it's Levi chasing Creator. AK Drones has dropped out. Levi goes over the top, tries to catch him into the Torval Gates. Not yet, not a lot left. Here comes the really technical parts to end the lap. Can he get him here on the ladder? Can Creator Gamer keep it together? They both make it through the ladder, no problems. What about the ramp? Leviathan cuts on the inside. Creator Gamer's gone wide at the tree. An unbelievable finish for Quad Force One. Yes. Oh my gosh. Rock, That's what I wanted to see. Yes. Holy. Holy. Hold up. Proximo doesn't understand, says, hold up, how did that happen? Leviathan got the win on the last two turns. Let's catch our breath. Chrysan, early in lap number one, having a few problems there. Levi likes Fadut so much, she goes round twice and yet still manages to win a race. Out in front, it was Creator Gamer who hits the court score on lap number two. That meant Levi got a bit closer to him. When he comes out of the ramp, he goes a bit too wide around the tree. Levi snuck in between the tree and the ramp. That's gave him that tiny advantage and the win. Now Propsicle and the awestruck Proximo have to get another one. And it's Ion and clone number one that they have to beat for it. Surely the fire is in Quad Force 1 now. The China Dragons have been so calm throughout. Which of those two teams can drive themselves forward to win this series? On board with Ion. Chasing the pack. Diving down in front of the government building, hard 180, too high on that gate, bumps off of it, keeps going in the right direction. So it didn't cost them as much time as it could have done. Clone number one, the closer chaser to the two pilots from Quad Force One right now. Propsicle the captain, out in the lead. 
Proximo fractionally behind him. So close to him and clone number one. Very close to the pair of them too. Into the ladder. Not much between them. Oh, extra correction by clone number one afterwards though. Just lost him a couple of tenths of a second. That's all it takes as you saw in the last race. One tiny mistake at this level. And that could be the point going to your team. And you winning the series or not. It's about five hundredths of a second between the two pilots of Quad Force One and five tenths of a second for Clone behind them over the rooftops we go. His dive was a little bit too sharp, caught out on the roof. He's dropped another second, a whole second further behind. This could even the series. Three all for Quad Force One. They've just got to keep it in control, not give anything away. As quick a pilot as Clone is, and eye on two for China Dragons. They won't catch Propsicle and Proximo by 1.7 seconds over a straight run. It'll take a mistake from one of these blue pilots to let them back into it. Proximo, very close to his teammate. That's all good when you're virtual racing, but it's terrifying to a team manager if you're flying real quads. And Proximo just trying to get in front of Propsicle. Doesn't look like they're holding back whatsoever. Maybe the team aren't informing them how big a lead they've got because it's got bigger. Clone number one has lost another second on the pair of them. It looks very much like we're going to go to the best of seven final race, a 1v1 to settle it between these two titanic teams. And we're seeing a proper race out in front between Propsicle and Proximo. Nobody playing it safe at all. Both of them desperate to get this win. Both of them through the drop and over the rooftops. Four hundredths of a second, two hundredths of a second between them. Side by side flying Propsicle and Proximo into the ladder. Can't afford to go wrong now. Clone number one, three seconds behind. Proximo goes first into the ramp. Propsicle right alongside him. They're coming in in a one-two. Yes, let's go, Colin. Good, Good flying, race. bro. Good Dang. flying, bro. Let's go. You guys were just on each other let's the whole go, entire dude. time. That was freaking beautiful. Good that stuff. was such a race. All right, close crazy. this out for us, Levi. Close. Do this for freaking me, baby. Let's bro, go. why is there so much pressure <laughs> on me now? <laughs> oh, it's all good. All good. All good. It's Leviathan who's the final competitor picked by Quad Force One for the one v one that Propsicle has just led them into. Ion bumping earlier on. Clone number one basically just falls through the Liechtenstein gate after a few bumps prior to it. And another one a little bit later on. So it's time for the 1v1 to settle the whole thing. And it's Chrysan against Leviathan. Chrysan with a win already earlier on in the big heat. Leviathan has won both of the 2v2s he's been in. This could be so close. Oh no, Chrysan, surely you're not going to give it away on the first lap. Two seconds behind Leviathan this early in the race. Oh no, could that be the moment that China Dragons let it all go? After all this hard work, let's see if Leviathan can stay out in front. He's swinging through the slalom, he's made the drop well there too. Over the rooftops, 1.7 seconds between him and Chrysan. Straight down the tunnel, no problems whatsoever. And the second one, and Chrysan just entering them now. Levi is long out of them. Into the top of the ladder, he might just see Leviathan low down on it. Maybe that just made Chrysan think twice because he's hit another obstacle. Levi's darted between the tree and the ramp again. Chrysan managed to follow him this time. So he's sticking with him. It's 1.8 seconds between them. Two laps to go. Leviathan out in the lead. He's attacking the dirt's well here. Now he keeps spiraling up to the rooftops and then drop down through that gate and around the roundabout once as he's definitely learnt his lesson through the Fox Ear gate in front of the government buildings. And Chrysan is a couple of tenths of a second slightly closer to him. Leviathan around the tree into the slalom. Here comes the drop. He's good at this. That all works out, but you know what? Chrysan has taken another bite out of the gap between the two of them. Levi isn't going to get caught by him just yet, but somewhere around lap number three, this one second gap might have got small enough to start to worry him even more. The ladder makes it look like he's closer than he is. Now he heads up to the ramp. Both of them going to tuck in on the inside. They both make it work. It's six tenths of a second. Chrysan is coming for Leviathan at the start of lap number three. Over the car park. Round the back of the buildings, on the spiral up towards the rooftop, starting now. Six tenths of a second. Chrysan chases Leviathan through the first and the second of the Liechtenstein gates. And hard chase around the roundabout through Fox here. It's still six tenths of a second. Now heading into the square, Levi into the pylon. He's missed the turn. He's got to go back around. Now he's got to make it work. He's lost so much time. Three seconds from that one tiny accident. Chrysan's bumped a load of things. Levi's one tiny accident turns into a big mistake. Now Chrysan's out in front, three seconds ahead. Can he wrap it up? He's into the ladder. 
Another mistake by Chrysan. Surely Levi's coming for him. Chrysan's out of the ramp and into the ground and the tree. Can he get it home? Levi's had another mistake. It's over. Come on, Let's go, man. Let's go. <laughs> yes. The times we are going up and down. Amazing, man. Amazing. Good job. What a finish. And what a mess. Chrysan getting the win for China Dragons. That might be the most important point he scored for some time and yet the ugliest way of doing it. A lot of mistakes by Chrysan. Levi just made that one. That sent him around the tree. Then he made sure he made that turn by going around again. Then he hit the top of the ramp there as well, just when the chase was on for the finish, but the gap was too big. It's China Dragons win. 4.23. What a battle. Clone number one, Chrysan and Leviathan all getting two wins there. Propsicle getting one more for his brilliant tally. Elsewhere on race day 14, Cyclone, Raiden Racing and Haven Airborne all got 4-0 wins, as did X-Blades Racing over STT Perpetuum Coin, which is a loss that they really didn't want to suffer. Quad Force 1 were hovering around the top of the leaderboard with X-Blades, but they just lost 4-3. So what has that done to the leaderboard? Well, X-Blades have now moved slightly further ahead of Quad Force 1. Then it's the two-time world champions Raid and Racing hanging around in third. And China Dragons and Cyclone Racing have both now moved up past SDT Perpetuum Coin from Spain. This is really important because the teams in fifth and sixth will go to our live finals, but they'll start in the elimination zone where they can't afford to lose a single race. Coming up on race day 15 when we race around Stavanger's Pulpit Rock, Alpha will take on Mac 1. Cyclone will have to beat the reigning world champions if they want to try and move up any further than fifth. X-Blades will be confident against Haven. China Dragons will try and get another win, this time against the DCL wildcard team. And join us next time for Quad Force 1 against SDT. Quad Force 1 coming back after this loss. SDT trying to get back out of sixth place. I'm Matt Andrews. Thank you for watching and we'll see you, as always, in the skies.